this will be the final part on Femme Nazi Friday. I mean, not Femme Nazi Friday, Femme Nazi Week. <sighs> Mainly because I want to make more videos besides feminism, besides the topic of feminism. Yes, there will be videos where some random feminist comes out of nowhere and say, we need feminism. Sadly, I don't have the time to deal with them all. There's just too many of them. So what I'm going to do instead is, you know, post a video based on feminism or pwn some random feminist every freaking Friday or the day after if I can't upload it. So with that being said, this will be the final part. Then I'm going to work on my new intro. So let's begin. So I'm digging myself a hole again. This is probably a huge mistake on my part, but I feel like a certain aspect of the social justice life should probably be discussed. The following video is based on Western culture, namely the shit I see as an American. I know that my normal booktube audience probably doesn't care a whole lot about this and that's okay. So therefore my audience will probably only be gross men's right activists who will eventually find this video and find fault with my appearance. But I am just so sick of having to repeat myself, so might as well make a video about it and just link everyone to that. Let's just jump into it. I'm gonna get shit if I sugarcoat it or not, so let's just go. It is not the minority's job to protect the majority's feelings. They don't owe you anything, not even one itty bitty word. When a minority is posting in a safe place like their personal blog or a Twitter account, they are allowed to talk about their struggles. Sometimes on my Tumblr I say things like, ugh, I am so sick of straight white boys. As a queer woman, I have plenty of reasons not only to be fed up by straight white boys, but also to be frightened of them. There is absolutely no good reason for anyone to reply to my untagged post with the following, don't you mean some straight white boys? Or we're not all like that. Or even, God forbid, you're generalizing. That's just as bad as being racist or sexist. First of all, I only posted that because in the span of one day, I had one straight white boy contact me asking if we could hang out so maybe he could get a blowjob. And another one say that I'm not queer enough to use that excuse not to date him. I know you're not all like that. I know a few white cishet men who are pretty active in the community and would never do anything like that. However, if you're responding to something like that with, don't you mean some, then I bet you're not one of those people. Because when I say I hate white, straight, cisgender men, I'm probably talking about privilege. There's a pretty good chance I'm talking about privilege. Okay, there is just so many things that are wrong with what you just said. First of all, if you wanted to make sure that no one responds to your posts or comments, then maybe you should make it more private. Because, you know, last time I checked, you can't, you know, make your posts private on Tumblr and, and, and your own website. But if you made it public, then everyone has the right to comment about your about the bullshit that you are saying hell you're making a video on YouTube right now right so therefore I have every right to make a video response to you because it is public and I know I have no obligation to respond to your video I know I have no obligation to respond to any of your posts but guess what I'm doing this out of my free will most people on the internet love to point out bullshit and most people on the internet will love to point out the bullshit that you have just said so if you don't want people finding your comments then maybe you should have done a better job at hiding them 
Second, if you're going to say that you're, you hate the privileges of cisgender white males, then maybe instead of posting you hate cisgender white males, you should add, I hate the privileges that cisgender white males have. It's that fucking simple. It's really that fucking easy. <sighs> Remind me not to ask you any questions, not to, you know, give you any awkward questions, because then your mind will just flip on and say, I'm a rapist, I'm a fucking rapist. Because that's what it seems. You know, that's what it seems towards you. I mean, can, can you imagine if I said all feminists are just a bunch of man-hating, bra-burning sluts? And some feminist tells me, Oh, we feminists are not like that. Or, not all feminists are like that. And then I say, Oh, I know, I know not all feminists are like that. Just some. You know, just the... Uh, privileges that feminists love to make, you know? That's bullshit. And you know it. I am talking about how I hate that society favors white cishet men. I hate that our laws and customs favor them and let them get away with some gross injustices. And this shows on how much research that you actually done. Women actually have to um, serve less time in prison than men for doing the exact same crime. And you're telling me that, you know, some men get away with it or something like that? I don't know. But I recall there are women out there who managed to get away with crime because of their gender. I'm not joking. Hell, there's this one article um, that official GATG has found, links in the description. I forgot the details, but all I know is that this woman was raping a child, and she's only receiving a year in prison. Now explain how that's fair. You can't explain on how that's fair because you're you 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 are sexist. You you are a sexist cunt. I'm saying this because you are. A sexist. Just admit it that you are sexist. So yeah, I hate that white straight dudes get off so easily. I hate that I have to be afraid all the time. I hate that there are people with less privilege than me who are more scared than I could ever imagine being. Ooh, we white boys are gonna suck out your soul. Ooh, come on, grow a pair. And I know you're going to say, oh, you misogynist, you fucking sexist. You need to man up. I don't have to say that, though, because not only is it strongly implied by every feminist I have seen being attacked for this, but I don't owe any white cishets an out for their privilege. As always, I am white, I have white privilege, therefore I will never know what it's like to be a person of color. However, I've seen this happen to more people of color than white queer girls, so we're gonna change up the hypothetical situation a little. If you're a white person and you see a person of color talking about their struggles with oppression and complaining about white people, and your first instinct as a white person is to jump in and tell them that not all white people are like that and that you personally are not a racist, then you might be a racist. You fucking idiot! I mean, wow! Fucking wow! I have never heard such pathetic, stupid logic. Okay, so you tell someone that not all white people are evil scumbags, and you're gonna tell me that person is probably racist himself. By what planet were you fucking raised on? You know, I heard some stupid shit from feminists. Although it's not the dumbest thing that I ever heard, it is one of the dumbest things. 
I have ever heard. And that is saying something. Shame on you, you sexist son of a bitch. Not an ally, that's for damn sure. Because instead of realizing that there's a reason for this person of color to hate white people, you wanted to be given an out from your own privilege. You completely derailed the conversation from this person of color and their experiences with racism that they're legitimately facing and made it about you and your feelings. Are you fucking stupid? It's not about feelings. It's not about my own personal feelings. It's not about some guy's other personal feelings. Hell, I don't give a shit about your feelings. It's about gaining trust. You see, humans are sociable creatures. We interact with each other. But if you're going to fear a certain group, the, the majority, then you'll and not trust them, or at least trust some, that you will never, 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 ever, ever be happy. You'll never be able to trust another, another white male because of your prejudice. You know, you refuse to accept help when no one else is nearby. You, you, you have to come to terms that not everyone is a fucking asshole. I used to hate humanity at some point, but I already, but I remember that not every fucking human being on this planet is full of shit. Just those who are full of shit. Right, you, lady, are full of shit. But, you know, some guy out there in the streets who, who, who just, you know, lives a normal life. I don't really give a flying fuck about skin color or, you know, sexuality. I don't. So maybe, just maybe, if you drop the grudge against cisgender white males and learn to actually trust them because you're not living in the past, then maybe, just maybe, you two can get along just fine. You are making the conversation about white people and your own experience when that's not what the conversation is about. In fact, you probably want to be given praise for not being a racist, don't you? You want that person to stop complaining for a second and tell you, oh, of course not. Not all white people are like that. You, you are the exception. Oh, and God forbid they don't say that. Somehow you have found the fact that they didn't say not all white people are oppressive more offensive than the legitimate oppression that this person was originally talking about. If you didn't think that, you would stop making it about you. Once again, this isn't about my personal feelings. Quite frankly, you may never know what the person's real intention is. For all you know, that person might just wants to make friends with that other guy who's, you know, fearing uh, white men. Um, if I was to encounter um, a guy, a, a black guy, who fears white men because of his past, I would tell him that not every uh, white man is like that and I'm not doing this for myself I'm doing it for that person I'm telling that person that we no longer have to worry about living in the past this is the future you gotta stop living in the dark <coughs> <coughs> just as much as you have to live you know stop living in the dark it's time for you to grow out of your freaking shell but as long as you're you know, in that stupid, pathetic shell of yours, you'll never grow up. You'll never mature. Just looking at this video pretty much shows that you don't know shit. Why is the fact that you are not the one personally causing this oppression more important than the fact that they are indeed facing oppression? Because these people are not facing oppression now. Neither are you. You are not oppressed. Stop pretending that you are oppressed. It doesn't matter which individual is causing this 
specific incident this person is talking about. The oppression is still happening. So in conclusion, there is nothing on this earth that will make me put the words some or not all when talking about the majority party who is being oppressive. This is because one, it doesn't matter because the oppression is still happening. No, it's not. And I can prove you wrong. And two, I am not going to let you forget the part you play by being a part of the privileged party. And three, some people are so self-centered that they will just stop listening if they know the conversation could never be about them. You need to know that I could be talking about you. You could be doing these oppressive things and you need to think about possibly stopping. Or I can simply just prove you wrong and show you that you're just being a sexist bitch. And I'm, once again, insulting you, not because you're a woman, because you're a dumbass. And that's the end of Feminazi Week's, I mean, the Feminazi Week series. Like I promised, this is gonna be the end. And there will be a new episode, I mean, not a new episode, a new video on feminism on every friggin' Friday. I will, I promise you that. So, to the person that I just made a video response to you, that response to, um, listen, not every cisgender white male is like that. And I can prove you to be wrong. Now, the only question is, are you going to take my hand? Because this is what I'm offering you. I'm offering you a chance to be proven wrong. And you could also try to prove me wrong as well. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Because really, it's no loss to me. But it is a loss to you. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game.